spirit, we're giving you a taste of the holiday flavors at Il Gelato. Yeah, from eggnog to candy cane, Dallas on Tavares rejoins us live from Holly Eva with the scoop. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine Ross. You know what? You guys said it best. A big part of the holidays are the sweets, which is why we're here at Il Gelato. And here joining us on Take Two, we still have Derek, who's the owner of Il Gelato. Good morning, Aloha. Good morning, Aloha, everybody. Thank you so much for having us. I mean, something is already happening right now as a process of setting up your display because in the first half of Take Two, we saw your beautiful display of just so many different flavors you guys have to offer here. It's really the first thing that customers see. They really see that natural, authentic, uh, um, you know, gelato right in front of their faces, but it's a big process. Tell us what Alyssa is doing right here. So Alyssa is basically extracting the gelato now she made earlier. So we go through the process of the mixing. So this is the eggnog. It's a beautiful, uh, creamy uh, eggnog gelato. Um, and then uh, once it's uh, mixed, we put it into our machine. It freezes uh, for about 10, 12 minutes. Okay. And then we take it out. And uh, Alyssa is doing a great art of uh, okay. filling the uh, gelato case. Uh, nicely with all of these uh, different uh, gelato uh, pants and wow. you see it's a, it's an art by itself to get those ready and this is part of our decoration in the store as you said because that's what the uh, <laughs> the customers do see when they come in and uh, so this is a uh, huge beautiful display of the eggnog and please go ahead and try some i mean sorry how can you not Alyssa? i gotta ask you really quick I, was it hard to you know when you started le to learn how to do this no, it wasn't. It just was not natural for me. Oh, the natural for you. Yeah, okay. I love ice cream, so. You love ice cream? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So as soon as he taught me, it was just natural for me. Nice. Yeah, no, Alyssa was a very, very quick student, so she picked up the, the gelato making very, very quickly. And she does wonderful. It's not just the looks, mm -hmm. it's the content and it's the taste and the creaminess. So very proud of uh, Alyssa feeding all of our people here on the North Shore with the, for the store as well as for our wholesale because also we're having some wholesale customers here on the yeah. North Shore. So we're making this also in larger quantities for other restaurants and hotels. Nice. Great job, Alyssa. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can put a cone together because one thing that we were talking about all this morning were the different holiday flavors. I know we have a few right here. Uh, this is the candy cane. Uh, it has a few different flavors. I think it's the uh, candy cane gelato. And there's some other flavors here as well. Can you tell us, Dirk? Come on this side uh, for yes. me, please. So this is actually, we have the uh, um, cranberry lime, we have a mango, and this is a strawberry lemonade. That's one of our classics. So these are more the, uh, the, the regular flavors. We sell quite a bit here on the North Shore because it's a hot beach day, coming back from the beach. And then uh, you get the nice refreshments. This is our typical uh, holiday season. So we have a, a blackberry cabernet in the bottom, then we have a cranberry lime sorbetto. And that's all topped with the candy cane with some uh, candy cane sprinkles on top. Perfect. And I love how you could kind of pick and choose the different flavors and kind of make a beautiful piece of work like this. Does it change the way it tastes like because there's so many different flavors or does it kind of all blend in? Well, we're doing over 150 something flavors and all of them are very distinct. So the trick of making a good gelato or, or sorbetto is to have really the, the, the big uh, punch in the front of the, the, the palate. Mm -hmm. Once you get uh, the try it, you can immediately tell what it is. Nice, and I see that we have a beautiful waffle right here. You guys just serve more than just gelato. There's yes. other things too. Yes, we also serving uh, uh, coffee, of course, yeah. and pastry, which we make up here in our bake shop in the back. But we also doing the crepe, the French crepe, and the Belgian waffle. So it's a really a European flair and fair. Mm -hmm. So we can combine the, uh, the the Belgian waffles with the gelato or sorbetto, mm -hmm. and uh, as well as the crepe. Perfect. And how long are these flares going to last for? What do you mean? In like, is it just for December? Uh, yes, all the, the, the holidays flavors, we stop them in January and then we coming out with new flavors. And uh, every couple of months uh, we have new flavors, uh, uh, so spring flavors, we have the summer flavors, we got the fall flavors. But on top of that in the store, uh, because that's the fun part and the creative part is we making always extra flavors for the store. Every month we have about three to five new flavors we're, we're pre presenting. Nice. There's a, yeah. there's a lot going on here at Il Gelato, which is pretty awesome. So thank you so much, Dirk, for just showing us around and all these different holiday flavors to check out for the season. Well, come over and enjoy it in one of our stores. We're in uh, Waikiki in the International Marketplace. We're in Kahala Mall. We're in Pearl Highland Shopping Center. And, of course, here in the North Shore Marketplace in Haliva. Perfect. Reporting from the scene, Dallas Navarro, singing right to you, Ross Christine Studio. Oh, that looks <laughs> so good, Dallas.
So that answers our question. The gelato will not be coming back. It will gonna, not be coming back. It's going to melt before then. But he looked like he was enjoying it. Or it's going to be gone because they're just going like, to go to town, him and Justin. But I love how he says, Sorbetto. Yeah. Sorbetto. Mm-hmm. All right, coming up next, saying goodbye to a popular poke place. We're talking about Tanioka's, their last day at Almond Center when we come back.